help with my daughter. I, 33M, am a single father to a beautiful, wonderful daughter. 12F, will be 12 next April. Her mother passed away when delivering here. So for all of her life it has been me and her. I love her to death and we are best friends before father and daughter. We talk about everything. However, around some time ago I noticed some changes in her behavior. Mood swings, and acne started to appear on her face. I have read many books about raising girls and I believe these are the signs of when a girl hits. Puberty. I tried to talk to her about that however. This is the one subject that she completely shut me down on it. So, I decided to let it go for the moment and speak to her later. Now, I was doing laundry and I noticed her bed sheets tucked away when I spread them I noticed some droplets of blood, which from what I read is a sign that she got her period. I, once again tried talking to her. This time I brought a book with me so she know I talk based on scientific knowledge. She listened for a little bit. Then I think got embarrassed told me to drop the subject. And when I told her we need to talk she shouted. You are not my mom you understand shit. I don't have any female relatives nor her mother we were both raised in the foster care system and literally had no one. So I went to her school and talked to one of the school counselors. She's in a Catholic school. To speak to her about the subject. Later I discovered that instead of talking to her about puberty and what to expect and such stuff, they only talked to her about not having sex before marriage, and how sex before marriage is the work of the devil, and masturbation is a great sign that deserves punishment, etc. Now, I don't know what to do at that point. I have some ideas, which I hope some of you here give me advice about. A. I give her one of the books I have about puberty in females for her to read. B. We go to an OBGYN. Female one. That she could speak to about everything she can't speak to me about and that I can't possible. Understand. C. Going to a child psychiatrist. Also a female one. So she can speak to her about all of her feelings and stuff. D. I go to a professional physician a psychiatrist, or whatever so I can learn exactly what to say to her and the answers that I can give her. However, I don't see it helpful as I've never experiences what she's going through. What do you think I should do? P.S. The reason why I didn't seek a female friend to talk to her about puberty stuff is that in one of the books I read, it's mentioned that in situations like ours where a female role mode doesn't exist, it is best to get information, basic puberty information, from a clinical professional source. Every female has her own experience with puberty and some things happen to some while not happening. For others. So unless she has a relative that shares some genetics with her. It is recommended for her to acquire knowledge from a professional. Of course other stuff like dating and such after that will require a female friend to be around which I honestly working on right now. However, I'm talking about puberty experience here. And once again thank you for your kindness and sweet words. You really opened my eyes on many stuff that didn't cross my mind before. PS2, for God's sake please stop attacking me in the DMs over what I said about her school. That what happened with my daughter. Yes I am pulling her out of that school. And no. I'm not saying Catholic schools are evil, ignorant, or I'm a god-hater as someone told me in the DMs. Simply this particular school in this particular situation does not suit us. Period. Do two things. First tell your daughter that you won't ask her further regarding puberty topics but that you are always there if she wants to talk about it. Then do everything you mentioned in option B. Thank you all for all that helpful advice. I really can't thank you enough. I'll be doing everything you've advised me to do. About reaching for a female role model. I do believe that advice on subjects must come from professionals in the field. That's why I wanted her to go to an OBGYN. 
That way she can have the knowledge she really need without any prejudice or personal experience that the female friend would impose on her. I don't know maybe I'm wrong her. We are already seeing other options for the school. I don't like it that much to be honest. And their handling this situation was the last straw. However, all of her friends are there so I guess it would be a hard conversation to make. I asked a female co-worker of mine for her advice regarding female hygiene products. To be completely honest I only knew about pads and tampons. I didn't know there are so much products like that. But I'll take the advice mentioned here and go tonight to buy some of that period pants mentioned in one of the comments here. Thanks once more for all of your help and support. The Care and Keeping of You is a really good book to give her. Helped me. 31F Growing Up. Option B sounds promising. And I personally would look into changing schools. What a messed up thing for a teacher to tell a 12 year old. Angry. Do both options B and C. It gives her the medical knowledge she needs and gives her the space to work out what her feelings are. However, I think you need to have a long discussion about the loss of her mother and what it means. During important moments like this, that's it's okay to be hurt and heartbroken. Her mother isn't here to help her throughout this journey. But you are, and you love her and anything she needs or needs to talk about should not be ripped off the table. This ISNT something to be embarrassed about is it's natural and normal. For now, while you're setting all this up, stock up on pads and tampons. Panty liners. Get her a heating pad and my doll. If she's a chocolate-loving girl, get a stock of her favorite chocolate bars. Get her facial stuff to keep her skin happy and healthy. Make her period time a spot time. If she doesn't like chocolate or can't eat a lot of sweets for health reasons, bananas are also very helpful during cramping and periods thanks to the potassium. Strawberries too. Get her those specifically made period panties as pads can be uncomfortable to sleep within. Tampons aren't safe for newbies overnight. Toxic shock syndrome is no joke. They are designed specifically to absorb and contain period blood and lining for quite a good amount and are easily washed in the laundry. Get multiple pairs. Hi, 23F here to give my thoughts. First, I want to say it's amazing what you're doing for her. Being supportive and informative but also respecting her boundaries. In that she doesn't really want to talk to you about puberty and things. I'd say give her a book or two on female puberty, and maybe puberty in general. And tell her you're there to talk and also just listen if she has any questions or concerns. Then ask her if she wants to talk with an OBGYN. Having a discussion like that would have been insanely helpful to me. Even though I had both my parents. Neither really wanted to talk about sex or anything. Except giving me basically the same talk your daughter's school gave her. Make sure you do your research on OBGYNs and ask for her opinions on who she'd like to meet with. My first OBGYN was rude and not easy to talk with. But I hadn't done my research. There are sites that give reviews on docs of all specialities. Overall, keep doing what you're doing, giving her love and support and being as open as possible with her. Also maybe let her know that there are more options out there than just abstinence when the time is right for her. Option B for me. Also the issues with her school should be taken very very serious. This is how girls get taken advantage of. Forced to do stuff or become teen moms it teaches her not to talk about sexuality and no knowledge. Gives her no power over herself. She needs to be taught about sexual motivation that reigns supreme in teenage boys men about consent about how male, female bodies work about pressuring tactics from boys about sex myths about birth control about sexual predators about what's normal in sexual relations about orgasms and her pleasure about equality between men and women about much much more not at once perhaps and her school is blaming it on the devil and sinful acts 
She is a young girl in the 21st century. She needs to know for her future happiness and safety. I am a father of two young boys and I'll make damn sure they get taught about. First of all respect for partners and sex and everything and if they ever misbehave I hope it's with a girl, boy that will kick them in the balls and dump their asses. You need to produce these girls. It's your duty as a father and you owe me confident and strong bell kickers. Also, mod respect for you. I can't begin to imagine your past 12 years without her mom. The Care and Keeping of You is an American Girl book that me and all of my friends read at that age. You should also look into the Big Brothers, Big Sisters organization. If you contact the local doctor's clinic and ask if there's a nurse who can spare about half an hour to talk with your daughter, explain that as her only family your daughter feels embarrassed to talk to you. Ask your daughter if she would like to talk to a nurse about this stuff. Be honest and okay I may not know everything about this. I'm willing to learn, but if you want to speak to a woman about this would you speak to the nurse? This way leave it up to her what she decides. By the way, when washing away blood use cold water and soap and then throw it in the washing machine. Apparently the protein in the blood will be denatured with hot water. You will never come out. Next time this happens just show her what to do and how to put the washing machine on. Explain that it happened with her mom occasionally Ian's it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Later I discovered that instead of talking to her about puberty and what to expect and such stuff, they only talk to her about not having sex before marriage, and how sex before marriage is the work of the devil, and masturbation is a great sign that deserves punishment, etc. That's religion for you. It sucks, and it's dehumanizing for a child. But option B is promising. Also, I'm a god-hater as someone told me in the DMs. Religious people, I swear. Going to be completely honest if you are at a Catholic school and want to talk about basic things. About puberty a non-school related counselor or doctor would be the way to go. Some things don't need a religious perspective on them say it as it is. You will get lots of useful advice here. As the father of four daughters, I would just like to add, welcome to the teen years. It can be crazy, but you will get through it with love and patience. Good luck, brother. 1. Get her a female pediatrician if she doesn't already have one. My daughter loved her doc but didn't want to go to him after she reached puberty. Even for completely unrelated things. 2. Give her the book and let her read it by herself. 3. Does she have a close friend with a friendly mom? Maybe a friend's mom could help her with this and other things. Like learning how to buy feminine hygiene products and bras. 4. If she doesn't already, teach her to do her own laundry so she doesn't have to worry about you knowing when she's had an accident. 5. Keep being the great dad that you are. First of just want to say you sound like a great dad. I'd go with Opie Tone B. You could be the best father in the world but there are just something a girl is going to be. Embarrassed talking to their father about. Puberty books are great for someone who has a bit of knowledge of the subject already. Considering her school counselor her school cannot be relied on regarding comprehensive sex. Education. Find her a good OBGYN or even a nurse practitioner who can go over the basics with her. I'd also add just because you said you do not have any female relatives it might be a good idea to get her involved in a big brother big sister program so she can get some positive female role models and has someone she trusts to talk about the things she's embarrassed to talk to you about. I absolutely love my dad he's great but there was no way at 12 I was talking to him about the merits of tampons versus pads or the like. While an OBGYN is a great place to start there are going to be mundane things about being a girl that are going to pop up throughout puberty. Better to provide her with some positive female influences now. 
I went through this same situation. Only that I was the daughter. My father raised me as a single father with no female relatives or friends and once I hit puberty, our relationship did go through a bad moment. I won't tell you which of your options would work the best for your situation because only you know how your daughter is and how she would take it. However, I just want to share with you that in a few years, well maybe more than just a few, she will be really thankful for your patience and your effort. She doesn't see it now, but having a caring parent is priceless. Even if at times they don't fully understand certain situations, don't give up. Keep trying in a passive manner. Remember that she isn't fully in control of her feelings right now. And if she seems different just give her time. But again don't give up. Because if you do she will seek that attention from places that aren't the best she will seek for. Information that isn't 100% true. You got this? Also, I saw a lot of people that are bringing up points like shaving and tampons and many other things. Yes, those are very important hygienic things. But go little by little. Don't just go shopping for those things and place them in her room. She's going to freak out. She's still a kid and she probably won't know what to do at first. Remember she's still a kid. This is just the beginning. So remember her favorite snacks and shop for that too. Relaxing teas and ice cream and hot packs help period cramps. As an adult I'm now thankful for all the effort my father put into getting to know what was going on with me. I'm sure she will too. Thank you for being such a thoughtful parent. I know things are really awkward and embarrassing now, but you will work through it. Your concern for your daughter is a great example. Ignore the judgmental people who might say otherwise. I was a child that did not want to talk to anyone about this subject but I still wanted to know. And I had a mom I could have talked to. I just didn't want to get her a comprehensive book avoid all that stuff and just leave it in the house. She'll seek it out. Good dadding option B is most appropriate. God bless. Schools really should not be allowed to decide what they teach in sex ed. It should be done by the government and cover all parts including non-heterosexual relationships. You sound like a great dad. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.